Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier. When I review a joystick gimbal, I usually create a second video specifically speaking about how to tear down and then reassemble, perform adjustment and maintenance. If you haven't yet seen the full review, it's linked up for you right now. Welcome to a full swap of cams and springs, detailed by the numbers. It's important to note that the Verpal MT50CM ships with three springs and four cam choices right in the box. The black springs are medium and are installed by default. You also have softer and harder spring options. Hard springs are easy to identify with a thicker wire as part of its construction. The new CM, unlike Verpal Warbird Bays, has an adjustable spring load per axis. You could technically achieve a weak feel from a hard spring if you release the tension. You could also clamp down on a weak spring to achieve a strong feel. Neither of those options are going to result in good performance. Proper tension is better for the gimbal, and it's also going to give you more room for fine adjustment. There are four cams allowing you to dial in the resistance profile to suit your needs. There are two that are meant for air flight and two that are intended to appeal for space sim pilots. The included guide is going to help you choose and the cams can be identified by a series of holes and cuts. Avasim cams have a progressive profile which adds more resistance the further you push into deflection. These represent the feeling that you'd get in an aircraft. Cosmo Sim cams have a flatter linear feel, offering similar resistance throughout the travel. Soft center cams have a subtle bump at the center point. The user can feel the middle with the tactile feedback. The no center style cams tend to let you travel from negative to positive through the midpoint smoothly. Installed by default are Avasim soft center, two holes and two bumps. Avasim no center has two holes, three bumps. Cosmo Sim no center, three holes, three bumps. Cosmo Sim Soft Center, three holes, two bumps. When you buy a joystick of this caliber, it's expected that the user is going to perform testing and adjustment. It's normal to remove and replace parts, and this doesn't void any warranty. We begin the process with the gimbal removed from its mounting solution, with the wires removed, and the rubber caps installed. You'll need a 2.5mm Allen driver, a broad flathead screwdriver, some paper towel, and possibly a pair of needle nose pliers. There's no reason with this gimbal to remove any of the top mounted bolts. Remove the lower cover by removing the four Allen bolts. Remove the top rubber cap associated with the axis that you're adjusting. The nearest cap is the Y axis and the far cap is for the X. It may be easier if you take off the grip, but you don't have to. Loosen the tensioner counterclockwise until the cam arm falls. Remove the tensioner and all the parts with it, including the spring. This is where the paper towel comes in as the parts are pre-greased. Resist the urge to clean off the grease as it's there for a reason. The tensioner includes a Teflon spacer, a metal washer, and finally the spring in that order. At this point, you have full access to the cam and spring. The cam arm freely rotates 90 degrees with the tensioner removed. This gives you full access to the two screws that secure the cam. At this point, simply loosen the screws and make sure to keep track of the lock washers. Remove the cam and replace it with the desired cam and assemble in reverse order. Insert the tensioner, spacer, washer and spring. Thread the tensioner into the pivot and take up some of the slack. The process is the same for both axes and it's possible to install a different profile into each axis. Once you check everything, replace the lower cover reattach the gimbal to the mounting solution, and then connect the wire. Don't forget that you need to recalibrate because you've changed major components from the inside. Once I became familiar with the process, I actually found that I could do this while the gimbal was mounted. And that's it. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. The channel is known for No Bullshit, which is short and to the point videos. Please follow the link for the full review on the MT50CM and a host of other controller reviews and guides. I have the Verbal restock schedule linked in the description. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.